He went. <laughs> Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast with your truck driving couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. <laughs> Today is August 20th, 2012. And this is episode 72. You can tell by the way Renee smacked her lips. Yes, yes, this is episode 72 of the Valentine cast. If I can ask, what does smacking my lips have to do with 72? I don't know. See, you could have made up something just now. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Here we are for that one. So, yeah, we're here for another episode of the Valentine cast. And thank you all for joining us. I'm glad to have you all and uh we have our awesome chat room what's we going have on uh chat nick room? nick sleeper bronco sire and sam and Atrix in the chat room yes, hi guys yep yep so I'm, I'm surprised nick showed up today you know <laughs> he, he really um he hates me oh really yeah is uh that uh because he feels like you're infringing on his uh after dark no, I, I don't know who it is, man. I, I, I think I think I, st- I think he still is angry with me about Guild Wars Two. You know, I, I, I did. Um. Oh, you all did <laughs> did uh, have a throwdown, right? Yeah, yeah. I bought Guild Wars Two, man. I, you know, nah, nah. Nick, <laughs> Nick, Nick and I are cool and stuff like that. <laughs> Just a little little ribbon that we like to do um, to to one another. More so me than than um, anyone else so but yes nick you are going to be on itunes as well as sam matrix and bronco but yeah thank you all for hanging with us tonight um and um and being here with us so um as you heard um if you were here live last show or was it i can't remember if i even said it while it was still recording but um as we said yes we are a the truck driving couple and we um are. And for those in the, uh, I smacked my lips. And for those in the chat room, <laughs> you're gonna get a little glimpse of um, what I shall call now Black Lightning. Yes, yes, I have gotten myself a 1998 Ford F-150, dubbed the name Black Lightning. Yeah, this is Black Lightning. Did we already talk about this? No, we no, didn't talk about this yet. Not on our show. We talked about this oh, on. Oh, that's why we talked about yeah, it. So on... grump, so grumpy men. Grumpy, um, grumpy old, old men, men after dark. There you go. Um, they got an exclusive, um, which is a show that um, I co-host with um, um, Shaky Legs and Rob Spider. Um, Shaky. We record live every Wednesday night at 7:30. Um, we won't be recording this week because Shaky is fishing. Shaky. Yeah, and um, last week we had Renee. She was our very first guest that we Yay. had on the show. It was awesome. Yep. And, I really um, enjoyed being there. I got to talk about. Being a girl gamer and what it means, and I love being a, a gamer. So. Yeah, one of the things that I fa- that I noticed um, on the show last Wednesday is that you you your family's rubbing off on me. Your ru- your family's r- rubbing off on me a lot because I noticed I found myself interrupting a lot last week, <sighs> and <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to say to that. Where, where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? I mean, why am I interrupting like this? I was like, oh. It's almost like I'm having such a great time on the show, like I do on our show, mm-hmm. and it's like I'm sitting around the table at dinner, and and we're all just talking, you know, and just chewing the fat, and just like we always do, everybody interrupts everybody, and at least we don't have like 20 conversations going on, and everybody, yeah. <laughs> and, and the volume's escalating over and over and over and over. Yeah, so. that happens. It's like eventually everybody's shouting, yep. which is kind of what happened. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this past weekend it was hilarious. I know, and and it's weird. I mean, because I mean, I mean, we're like three shows in, and well, not three shows in. We're about we're about six shows in, and Jason's already taking the vacation. I mean, this guy is like always on vacation. I mean, you know, it's just it's just crazy how he's just you always. Know, he likes to take it easy. Yeah, know? yeah, and and um, 
So, I mean, I, I don't understand why he he's always taking a vacation. I mean, that must be one of the perks of um, of um, state employment or federal employment or whatever employment he is. It's not it's not cowboy employment. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he probably gets like Arbor Day off and um, probably every state holiday every state has because you know they have their own holiday. But um, this weekend, um, we were some junkyard dogs we in were. our for the. Weekend wrap up. Um, <laughs> Junkyard dog. Woof woof. So for Black Lightning, I was on a hunt for a center lug piece for one of my wheels because um, it's missing it. And I'm, I've always wanted to go to the junkyard here in in Louisville because as a kid, um, I had an older car. Um, as a teenager, I had an older car, which was a 1978 Toyota Corona. Yes, I said Corona, like the beer. Um, <laughs> I had that car and. A lot of times because it was a car that was manufactured from like 76 and stopped around 82 mm -hmm. i had to go to the junkyard a lot of times to find try to find one sometimes traveling you know one or two hours away um when we had dewey the damn blue thing which was our our last oh, car I, I love dewey the damn blue thing yep yeah, I, I wanted to go to the junkyard to try to find some parts for her and um but i never got around to it um, so I got to live, I got to check one of my bucket list items off for, for Louisville, Kentucky. I got to go to the junkyard. Check, check. I can't believe that, uh, that's. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's like, I was hoping I'd find, um, Wally out there somewhere, you know, Aww. <laughs> but so I was at the junkyard looking for why well, I had called first and they said they had one and it was for a 16 inch wheel and it wasn't, and I have 17, 17 inch wheels on my truck. So it didn't fit. So because they said they had one, I wore flip flops down to the junkyard. <laughs> and they I don't know why he did this. But anyway, <laughs> see, I uh, also wore flip flops, but I had no intention of getting out of the car. Right, so, right. Yeah. So they was like, well, we won't charge you to go in. And I think that was new for you to hear them say, why would you charge someone to go in? Well, that's how they make their money. You pay two bucks. You go into the junkyard and you try to find your part. A lot of times they won't say if they have the part or not, you know. <laughs> That's messed up. But, but anyway. I mean, it's two bucks. You go in, you can kind of, you know, it's recycled and everything. So I went in in my flip-flops and I walked around that whole junkyard. I went because the trucks and the vans were already in the back. And so I had my flip-flops on. I was just, I was just scared I was going to step on some windshield glass and then get caught in my flip-flop. Mm -hmm. But um, we went to three junkyards, I believe. Um, yeah, three. Yeah, went to three junk yards trying to find this part, but I wasn't successful. So went on ahead and went to eBay because I wasn't gonna pay the dealership sixty bucks for a part that, you know, I can get for like half that off of eBay, including shipping. Have you already ordered it? Yeah, yeah, oh. I ordered it when we got back. So um, I should get that um, before we leave for Dragon Con. So um, <laughs> that's why you you, you didn't want to go down to Atlanta with the uh, one off. You wanna? Oh wait, we aren't driving that. That's right. No, we're not driving no, black lightning. Never mind. I don't know why I had a brain fart and thought we were driving it. No. <laughs> driving black lightning down there. Uh, what's expensive. wrong with black lightning? It's expensive. It's not expensive. It is more gas. So <laughs> is it or is it not more gas to drive black lightning? Just a little bit. But no, black so light, so the answer is yes. Black Lightning has a no, bigger no, no. tank. Yes, so yes, it does cost <laughs> more gas. So I, I mean, why can't you say yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> just a little bit. It's not. We can get down there and halfway back off of one tank, though. Uh huh. And that one tank costs a hundred dollars to fill up. It does. It does. So we went to go gas up the car on Friday, and I told Renell wasn't gonna let her watch. But it, it costs like $98 to crazy. Fill, the car, but, <laughs> fill the truck up. That's just redonkulous. <laughs> but anyway. But, you know, we don't drive it a whole lot. It's not <laughs> the everyday. True. That's you true. know, And, you know, Nick can probably attest to this in the chat room or anyone that doesn't, um, that lives over in England, over in, even over in, um, the, in Europe. I'm not sure what the gas prices are in Canada, but gas is more expensive in, in, in some of those places than it is here, you know, so, and... You know, we're you know, I guess we're lucky. I don't know. However you wanna look at it. But um yeah. So it was Renee had given me a complex for a little bit because she was joking me for a pretty long time about black lightning, how much she didn't like them. And 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 she usually doesn't carry a joke on as long as she did. To the point where I was like, 
Are you are you serious? You don't like Black Lightning? I had to assure him that Black Lightning was fine. I was teasing him, but he got really sensitive about it. Cause I, I felt like I was making I made a bad decision. <laughs> I was like, I thought we were in this together. Now I kind of know how she feel about um um how, how I talk about Sammy sometimes, but I really don't like Sammy. So hey, do you y'all, y'all want to see Black Lightning one more time? Yeah, <laughs> look at him. He's mm-hmm. <laughs> look at him. Ford F one fifty XLT three door. It's a two wheel drive. I didn't get a I didn't get a four wheel drive. So we might put some links in the show notes or I might put the picture of me and Spock chilling out. <laughs> um what else did we do this weekend? I hung out with your folks. Yeah, we hung out with my folks, which we do a lot. We do that almost every weekend. Right. And we didn't have any impromptu um Munchkin games this weekend. We actually yeah, got to, we didn't have any Munchkin. We actually games. got to watch some DVR in the back room, which was good. Because oh, it was getting up there. It was getting up there. And I, I can, started to get anxious. Yep, yep. Uh, anxious Renee is doesn't isn't nice for Jay. So, um, but before she chimes in, let's go ahead and jump into some tech. Technology. All right. So on Friday. Um, Dan, D and Danielle, they did come over because Danielle, I mean, D wanted to work on his um, his new business um, that he has, um, Reliant Exteriors. You can see him at ReliantExteriors.com if you ever need a roof and you're in the Kentucky area. <laughs> a little plug for the brother-in-law. But um, Renee has shared a video with me of a guy that did Carly Ray Jen- Jensen? Jepson. Jepson's song, Call Me Maybe. On chat roulette, and the thing was, he did this in the bikini, and he's a it was, it was hilarious. He's a pretty hairy guy, and <laughs> and so he did this, and we want to show Dan Danielle, and there was a program that I learned about called um, Air Parrot, um, as A I R P A R R O T. It allows you to stream um, video from like a Mac or the whole Mac screen to Apple TV. And um, I tried it out for 20 minutes. I did a free trial. It was pretty doggone slick. And the cool thing with the Air Parrot is you can also use it for PC. So, you know how I was thinking about getting, like, the new Vizio Google TV? Mm-hmm. I, I may not get that. I mean, if if I can get Air Parrot and, and, and do that same thing, there's probably no reason for me to get, um, I mean, because it was only 9 bucks. That's nice. You know. So, you already bought it? No, I didn't buy it. All right. I, I did the 20-minute um, trial. Okay. And it was pretty nifty. I mean, it, it, it'll do 1080p if you have the newer Apple TV and everything. So, um, if you have a Mac or if you have a PC and you want to stream straight to your television, just like if you want to watch some YouTube videos and you haven't got a solution yet or you don't have, like, Xbox or, or, or Apple TV or something else, I mean, you can totally um, just use that. And the reason I had to use that was because this guy... He disabled a YouTube video so that you couldn't watch it on a mobile phone. Yeah. I don't know why. So I couldn't use AirPlay. So um, it was all good. I and, found out a solution. And speaking of that video, I would love for Jeff to see that video. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I Jeff, we're going to send you a link to that. Yep. Um, Maybe mm-hmm. Renee will throw it in the show notes and odds and ends. Oh, but yeah. we'll But we'll also send you a, a, a link as well, Jeff. So. Well, man, I'll find it and put it in the chat room and we can keep talking. Okay. Um, and then also, Renee sent me a, a link for a TED Talk, a TED Talk that she watched that I haven't um, watched yet. But let's talk about this a little bit. It's about yeah. photography. And let me photography. 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 Um, it's, it's about a, um, a camera that can take pictures at the speed of light. So it takes a picture how many times a second? A trillion times a second. Which... Is I can I I need to watch this TED talk because I my mind cannot fathom that. Yeah, and he shows like in that is the speed of light, so right. it is mind boggling. And they're talking about how they can use this technology to see like around corners and and all this amazing stuff. I love technology and science, love it. So that it just gives me a little happy, like yay, we're we're doing even more stuff, and and it's just it. It was amazing talk. It's a short video, so you you aren't bored completely by it. It's but it's really really good. Right. So check that out. All right, and with that, let's jump into a little bit of media. 
media. All right, so no, we did not watch the shrine. And uh, and it's kinda... Jay's fault. Jay Jay did everything he could to not <laughs> say anything about this movie because it's a horror movie and he doesn't like those. Yeah, I I did. I, I'm not gonna lie. I I did do that. I just kind of you know kind of played it off and and you know we had to watch the back um we had to watch the um the back um the stuff in the back DVR. Yeah, yeah, you know, we did, but we could have made time for the shrine. Just saying. No way. How how could we have done that? Whatever, There's dude. no way we could have done that. I bet if I pick a movie that you want to watch this week, you'll be like, hey, we can watch that movie. You think so? We probably will. Well. Do you have Netflix up? Uh, I, I'll have Netflix up by the time you get all the dice out of your bowl. Dude, what are you trying to say? That I'm readier than you are. And That's not even a word. word. There's the rock on my screen. What's That's up? not even a word. Now, tell the people that you actually um, follow the rock finally. I did follow finally, the rock. Finally, Renee has followed oh, the rock God. on Twitter. Jeff, you have to watch that whole video. I'm telling you. Watch it. And then we can talk about it. But, uh, yeah, I followed the rock. It's cool. He's cool. Yeah, he's cool. He had a big uh, bowl of oatmeal and some jerky. No, big uh, bowl of oatmeal some steak and eggs for breakfast. He did. He did. See, I didn't get to read Twitter like that. Well, I did. I just, I just happened to see him. Yeah. Do you click on his profile picture every time? You? <laughs> no. You should. Because I have it in my mind what he looks like, and I don't need to click on his profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like, he looks like me. <laughs> yes, in my mind, he has your face. He has my face, and I had the rock's body. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just burped on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't burst. tell. I couldn't tell. But. So if you want to w- rewind back on, um, <laughs> if you want to rewind back just a few seconds, you'll probably, if you can hear me burp, I'll pay you 10 cents. Well, of course I'm going to say they can hear you. Yeah, I said 10 cents. Hey, Jay, I heard you, you burp. Can I have 10 cents? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have it right now. Uh, it's up front. Okay. All so, right. So let's the movie dice. that we're going to watch this week. Is not the shrine. Watch me the Yay. shrine. Yay. Uh, 90? No, 49. Watch that big television show. 49. Ong Bak 2. What is that? 10. The son of Lord Shidako, a murdered nobleman. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, it's a subtitle movie. Oh, nice. From Thai. So. Is it U-N-G? B-A-K-T? O-N-G. <sighs> B A K. Oh, okay, that's close. O N G B A K two. T U. B A K two. The number two. Oh. T W O. All must, right. It so, must mean there's a one somewhere. Yeah. In there. So we get to read, and watch the movie. Are yeah. You, okay? My my favorite kind of movie, where I get to read, and watch the movie. And <laughs> so we started watching uh, one of my favorite series, which I haven't started watching in a while, which is weird. It's and and don't you say a word, um, Bronco. Jay, I have a truck. Jay and I have been watching Project Runway. Yay! Yay! Heidi and Tim and all the gang are back. Yep. Um, it's so silly. I, I totally know that it's reality television. Most of it's about drama and not about how good they do the clothes. But I get to see pretty clothes. They make pretty clothes out of just sheets of fabric and it, it's freaking amazing or so, candy or candy it was a candy <laughs> challenge it's the second one it was it, it was very sweet oh oh you saw what i did there oh that's a good one babe no that's horrible that was a good <laughs> one <laughs> so project runway i love it and um let's see oh jeff said he'd rather watch the cross-dressing chat roulette guy than project runway well i understand and and you know i will say I was listening. I was watching. I always wait. You were until, dozing, weren't you? No, I was looking on Craigslist for truck parts. <laughs> so that intense. So that counteracted the project runway. Yeah. So I was I was on Craigslist while this was going on. So with the whole drama going on and everything, I usually just surf Craigslist or Amazon and I try to find like tents. I was looking at tents. I was looking at campers. I was looking at um, scooters. We got scooters. We got scooters. Yep. You got your Tadpoo shirt on. I do. Yep. Everybody's gazing at your boobs. They look awesome. Anyway. And um, <laughs> and um, basically what I did, um, 
at the end when they do the final, you know, the the runway and stuff yeah, like the that. The runway show. Yeah, that's that's when I kind of chime in and take a look, you know. So, but yeah. Um, so that was pretty cool. Yep. Um, the and then uh, I have some gaming news. All right, what's up? Uh, on live may be changing hands. On live is the service that debuted in t- in, in two thousand and nine where you could play games streaming over the internet. Okay. And uh, it's good technology, but they didn't market it well. I right. Think. And isn't OnLive part of that new Google television from uh, Vizio? Maybe. I think so. So there were rumors going around. They filed for Chapter 11. They're, they're gone. They're da, da, da. And uh, the reality is, is that uh, I think they're going to change hands. Uh, Mm -hmm. But they said that they're going to live on. Now, I just assume they're changing hands. Or maybe I want them to change hands. Like, I would like Steam to have bought them. Wouldn't that be awesome if Steam had had a streaming service? I guess. For some people. Who don't want to buy the whole game? It's like a rental. It's like a rental. Right. That's true. So, or you could try it and then buy it type thing. Right. So, uh, yeah. um, Some analysts say that online was spending too much money and didn't have enough paying users. Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand. I mean, it's all good. And um, I guess, you know, I guess I could throw in there the Google TV. It's called um, Vizio CoStar is what it oh, is. Oh, okay. But, yeah, it's it's sold out. I mean, they've been shipping them out and everything, but they sold out quick. Uh, Jeff, I think it's a big story. It's just um, any time any part of gaming doesn't do well, I think gamers is a whole lot like crap, <laughs> you know, because... We we want things to do well. Now I I I love the concept, but I would never use it because I'm not one for for streaming games. I want to have the game, you know. Right. That's me. Well, I mean, because I always wait for Steam sales anyway. Right. And move on to your finished book. Oh yeah, I did finish. I finished the Assassin's Apprentice, which was uh, the sword and laser book for this month, and I finished it uh, this week, and it was really good it was so good i immediately started on the second one um but um it has you know intrigue and stealth and magic and that's totally right up my alley um that's cool so i really like if you like fantasy i really recommend the the assassin's apprentice it's a really good read it's fast read it's great so and then i started reading um mech warrior on one of the mech warriors book by um, I think it's Michael Stockpole. Um, it's Mech Warrior number one, um, Ghost War. And, you know, and the reason I started reading this was that I was in some beta that this book may be based on that um, I've been playing and having a good time in. And I saw some people talking about how it made them want to go back and read these books. I never got to read the book, so I started reading um, this book. And it was it's starting off pretty good. I'm really, you know, digging the whole Mech Warrior genre. And whatnot, so um, it's really a good time, and um, it's a it's a good read. It started off real well, and 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 you know I think it's pretty good. So, um, and then also um, this weekend, if you pre-ordered Guild Wars 2, the early start starts Saturday at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, get yourself ready um, and get ready to start leveling up um, your tunes or whatever you want to do. Um, so we're pretty we're pretty excited about that. Um, something to give us um, a little time to pass the time while we're waiting for this next subject that Renee's about to bring I up. I am. Uh, the um, Blizzard has released their newest Mist of Pandaria cinematic trailer. Right. And this is one of their best trailers to date. Yes. It is amazing. We watched it twice in a row. We're like, oh, and um, and it's not Kung Fu Panda for for people that say it's Kung Fu Panda three or four or whatever. They're wrong it's not like Kung Fu Panda at all right and um yeah it, there was a little there's a little bit of humor and a lot of badassery yep so um it has me really excited for Mr. Pandaria and I can't wait to be a panda yep it's, it's gonna be awesome so that's coming out um today's the 20th that's September 25th um 2012 so <sighs> man it's, it's coming up so so fast but it is we will only get to play for a little bit before we're off to Dragon Con Oh, it's, no. oh, it's September. Yeah, it's September. Oh, so we'll get to play. We'll be fine. Yeah, we just have to. We have a we have wedding to go to. A wedding to go to. Yep. So we'll miss a day or whatever of the a day or two. All right. The fridge is not prepared. 
We got a Costco car. We got a Costco so, car. So we Jay, got a Costco so Jay convinced car. me that we needed a Costco card somehow. I don't know how he convinced me of this. I said I was gonna pay for it. <laughs> maybe that's what it was. <laughs> so we went to Costco. We uh, walked around. You can walk around and see if you really want a Costco yeah, card. Yeah, that right there was a huge thing. Yeah. Uh, that was huge for me being able to walk around. And if we decide to, you know, we want to be a part, we just, you know, go up there and. You know, buy membership. Yeah. So. I used to be a member of Sam's, which is just like Costco. It's a warehouse. Right. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, we were wandering through there. We're like, ooh, they have this. Ooh, they have that. And that's what we, we walked through every aisle just to see yeah. what they had. And um, granted, there are some things we won't get if it spoils fast. Right, but right. there are other things like they have six hearts of romaine on sale for a cheap price yeah. and we're like yeah because we eat salad all the time right so um the chicken salad yeah, the rotisserie chicken yummy. salad is so delicious it's really good and, and it's not that fattening it's either. not it's not i mean we actually um looked up and got the calorie um um calorie um value of it and everything and um just that and it's, it, it's a cool place you know yep. um we got enough paper towel to last for the rest of the year <laughs> and they have amazing cakes yes amazing that. cakes we're so we are costco members yay yep and we're here to give you our uh team update. valentine weight loss update so we have lost for a combined weight 52 pounds yay um this past week i lost 6.2 which is um, for a total of 28 pounds for me. Mm -hmm. And you've lost 2.8 mm -hmm. um, for a total of 23. 20, something. 23, huh? 23 point something. 23 point something. So we're just saying 24 <laughs> pounds. Yeah. But um, this is, we started um, July 2nd. So it's been, it's been seven weeks since we started. So I'm actually wearing a shirt now that I couldn't wear about, three or four months ago yeah so. and and i've i've almost gone down a whole dress size i think right. and i'm um, so it's exciting you know it is i can't i can't wait to see what happens in the next year right and and we're excited because i mean i'm just glad that our excitement may be rubbing off on some other folks and we have some other folks that are joining along with us because there is a social aspect with lose it you know um um it's good to have that support and it's also one i just enjoyed that is free yeah um, i love it, it it's very similar to uh, like some people will pay for weight watchers you know but you know sometimes you can't afford weight watchers because i mean it can be expensive but the way they do the calorie values they don't do like a point system they do you know the caloric value this is your calories and this is what you should do and it it makes you conscious of what you're eating you know is it worth me drinking um six beers for you know 750 calories right you know and it all coming down on me in the end you know and and then on top of that i'm having 20 wings and 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 um, onion rings and everything else which mm -hmm. sounds very very <laughs> very good yeah <laughs> I, I tell you but i just can't do that anymore um but um yeah i'm I'm really excited i mean um, we have friends from twitter that have joined yeah um, and it's great and and just the encouragement you get from everybody is awesome right, right. so I'm, I'm just really excited for them to come on and and just want to encourage them you know you know um if 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 it goes the other way don't don't um you know don't give up you know don't you know just keep going i mean that's what it's all about i mean it's it's not it's not all about just a diet it's it's a life change you know so mm -hmm. but yeah definitely all right all so right. so we're gonna get on to the boom i shit you not i didn't get to say it oh okay. boom i shit you not all right uh apparently i have bio defenses against pre pregnancy but only if i was raped so. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um uh, Republican Representative Ton, Todd Aiken, the Republican Senate nominee from Missouri, he said, and I quote, he was on a talk show. I, s I even saw the clip, so I know he said this. <clears throat> it seems to me, from what I understand from doctors, that's really rare, talking about getting, getting pregnant from rape. Mr. Aiken said a pregnancy is from rape. If... If it's if it's a legitimate rape, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. 
But let's assume that maybe that didn't work or something. I think there should be some punishment, but the punishment ought to be of the rapist and not attacking the child. I have a special superpower, biodefenses against pregnancy. I don't know how to activate them, but apparently I have them. Your body does. It's innate. <laughs> that, so, that's why the female um, species is so strong. So then he said, he, he backpedaled a little bit and said, no, I meant forcibly rape. And I said, legitimate rape. That still doesn't make sense. Your whole statement is invalid. And, th- and then he said, doctors only say that, you know, one, one percent of all rapes, I mean, that's, 35 women a day get pregnant so saying that they rarely get pregnant is not true mm-hmm. um so he is he has since apologized for this but but he's not gonna back but he's not gonna back down from the race he's gonna stay in the race yeah so i was uh you always get a little bit of excitement from uh politicians yep so that that's this week's shit you not So, so I guess the shit you not, um, that's the, that's the time that we can just kind of get in and be like, I can't believe somebody said this. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's my shit you not. Like, I that's, can't believe that in this day and age or this world, somebody would say some crazy stuff like this. Right. And this is totally my opinion. Some of you all also might believe that, um, you know, we have bio defenses, yes. but I do not. So. Right. <laughs> All right, so um, this week, um, um, in odds and ends, there were a couple of deaths this week that we sadly want to talk about. And sorry, go ahead. Yeah, um, I these are two deaths that occurred in the last 24 hours. Phyllis Diller. Now, I don't know a lot of the work she's in, but I've heard her name constantly. She was a female c- c- comedian and Back in the day was kind of rare anyway. Mm-hmm. She passed away. Um, I, don't, I don't know how old she was. But she, she, she passed away today. Right. Also, Tony Scott, uh, the brother of Ridley Scott. Uh, they were both directors. Um, he di- he uh, di- directed Top Gun, Beverly Hills Cop, um, uh, the Taking of Pelham, 123 or whatever. 132. Yeah. 132. Yeah. So um, he did a, a lot of awesome movies. He took his own life, yeah. and uh, he j- jumped off a bridge in Los Angeles. Right. And uh, I would hate like he probably has some demons going on. I mean, to to take you know his own life like that. Demons. Well, figu- <laughs> yeah, he, he had a lot going figurative. On. I know. I'm demons. just messing with you. Oh yeah, yeah uh, I see what you're controlling me. Yeah, I mean. and Phyllis Diller was 95. Yep, I saw. Thanks, Sam. Sam. Thanks, Sam. Um, but yeah, so, um, on a lighter note, um, this week, on Thursday, um, Xandar, who is the, the co-host, not co-host, but who is the host of All Things Edible, um, he is going to have a birthday on Yay, Thursday. Yay, happy so, birthday, Xandar. Yeah, we want to wish him a happy birthday, and, um, may this year be great, and all that good stuff. Yep. And, um, did you see the, um, link today that, um... Um, World of Warcraft and Mega Blocks, they put out some I did some things, but I heard that they don't look too great. I heard from somebody yeah. in this chat room, but didn't like them. Yeah, well, I can kind of understand that they look kind of kind of weird. Yeah. So I'm 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 curious to go check them out, and I might roll up the target and just take a look. And of course see how, you are. Of course. See how crappy they look. But <laughs> it's all good. But I'm still excited. I mean, you know. Um, and, yeah, I mean, anything that has to do with WoW, we're really, you know, that's our thing. Right, right. So uh, Another end of the show. It was a great show. Yeah, and it was actually pretty short. Yeah, thanks to cool. yeah, thanks to Nick, Sam, and Jeff for hanging out with us. We yep. really appreciate it. Yep, Nick had to go hang out with his new wife and everything. And, I won't, and you know that we have a iTunes review. What? How about that for me checking before the end of the show? What? We have iTunes review. I said yay for me checking before oh, the end of yeah. the show. Uh, we have a five-star review from the original Scooter. What? Uh, it says, greatness all around. A great podcast and great couple of people. I love the ease of listening to your podcast. Keep it up. Thanks, original Scooter. Thanks. Scoot, scoot. We so. got scooters. 
Um, so, uh, yeah. So, if you want to contact us, you can reach us by email at thevalentinecast at gmail.com. You can also see our blog at valentinecast.com. The podcast Twitter feed is ValentineCast. Yep. And if you want to watch the videos, you can watch them at youtube.com slash valentinecast. You can also call us. Yes, you can call us. We got a call from somebody, but it was blue... It was Blue Cross, Blue Shield from California <laughs> calling someone. That's awesome. I should have played it on the air. But yeah, that's, that's um, PHI though. Um, but if you want to call us and you're not Blue Cross, you can call us at 415-75-2278. <laughs> that's 415-75-VCAS. And um, my Twitter feed, if you want to follow me, is the Cowboy T-H-E-C-A-O-B-O-I. And Renee's Twitter feed is the Ice Flow. That's T H E I C F L O W. Um, word of advice: If you're on Reddit and it's your first time, and someone tells you go to Space Penis, but don't go to Penis. To go, but the other word, don't go. Please, just don't go. And don't let that be one of the things that you just never know about. You shouldn't even said it because. Now they're going to wonder and they're no, going to go. I'm telling you now. Do not. Like I told you. Do not buy Dear Esther. This is worse than Dear Esther. Go buy Dear Esther instead. And then go to and, and then go to that. Um, I, like a fool, went there. and I could have told you. If you had said something, I could have told you don't go there. Well, and it's my own fault because I was going to do a prank on you. I thought it was going to be like Martian penises or something. I yeah. Gonna, I was yeah. going to leak you one, but... Well, yeah. thank you guys. So that's the <laughs> lesson for today. Don't go to space. Penis. Not, but, but, but not the penis. D word. The D word for penis. Yeah. We have to be so PC here. I don't know. Can I say space dick? Oh, well, you just said it. So oh, apparently. Uh, no, Sam, don't go to no, space dick on Reddit. Don't. don't do it. No. Reddit just, has some awesome information, me, but space dick is not one of them. If you heard about two girls in the cup. It's worse than that, right? It's worse than that. So just yeah. leave it alone. All right, so we're going to leave that alone. Uh, thanks, everybody, for enjoying another episode. Yeah. Um, thanks to Pretty Lights Music for letting us use their music for the opening and ending of our show. And um, uh, please email us. And we just want you to do what Scott says and contact us, damn it. Please, just, just do that. We really appreciate that <laughs> a whole lot. But um, we'll talk to you all later. Have a great week, and we'll see you. All right, bye. I don't know what to say. <laughs> there you go. You said something. <laughs> Yay. Hey, thanks for fun. hanging out with us, Jeff thanks, guys. and Sam. It was awesome. Uh, we don't we do not do as much stuff as we used to. We're really boring. We're settling in this old, married, boring couple thing, aren't we? Oh, no. What, what's going on? <laughs> I don't think I don't we're that boring. At least I hope not. I think we have something. Oh, you know what I forgot to talk about? Dog on it. Well, I've got to talk about the um the new recipe we did for the sloppy joe. Uh, I thought about it, but I forgot. So we'll just we'll talk about it next week. Yeah, it's all good. Along with our more weight loss. Oh well, probably just jinxed it. Don't um, be saying all that, girl. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know. We should do like a Google Hangout while we edit the show. Mm. We'll be done soon. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs>